Hey there, I wanted to see if you could make a TikTok video about my new single, Blank, coming out on Friday. It'd mean a lot. Thanks. Well, hi friends, welcome back. So if you've been following me on TikTok for like the last year or so-ish, then you know that I'm a playlist curator, I make playlists, all that fun jazz. So I thought I would sit down and make a video of how to, I guess, nicely and properly send your music to an independent music playlist curator. <laughs> but before I get into that, I just wanted to plug my merch really quick because it's only going to be up for a few more days. But I have some merch out. I have a fun little pre-order going on right now and I have a yellow tea with some green font. It's really sick. And then I have a darker green tea, also cool. And then I have a sticker that mimics a vinyl record label. It's so cool. I, I'm so excited about all of it. So the pre-order goes until April 20th at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm not gonna print these shirts again. Probably gonna keep the stickers up, but if you want a shirt, grab one while you can. Here it is. And yeah, I'll put it down below too. But yeah, so to start things off, if you're like, Kelsey, what is an independent playlist curator? And how is it different from a Spotify playlist curator? So independent playlist curators are people who essentially make tons of playlists and those playlists have tons of follows. So these curators make playlists based off of a specific mood, a genre, or even highlighting smaller artists too. And then some curators make custom playlists just for you, which is also cool because it's very personalized and very to your taste and super specific and stuff, but yeah, that exists too. <laughs> and these curators also make playlists for like small businesses, boutiques, coffee shops, you name it, kind of everything, and it's really fun and cool. <laughs> and so where you kind of come in is where these independent playlist curators will more than not, oftentimes, is that the right phrase, they will make playlists for smaller artists like you and just highlight them, and these playlists really help boost streams and boost like recognition for your band. There are so many different curators that I know do this, I do this, even in like my other playlists I'll throw smaller bands in there and it really helps them out. So basically where that all ties in is it can essentially help your band or your music itself if you send your music to these independent playlist curators because they have stuff that is more personalized instead of Spotify where it's just enormous and the audience is so big that you could potentially not even get heard. So I think we as independent playlist creators are super important. And a lot of people didn't know that you could even do this, but I'm gonna explain the whole process of how you can submit your music to playlist curators. So first off, you're like, Kelsey, how do you do it? I didn't even know this existed. Ah. So I would say the first thing you should do is find a playlist curator who is aligned with your music taste. You don't want to find someone who is, let's say, hip-hop and then your country. You don't want to be submitting your country music to a hip-hop playlist curator because it just doesn't align. I get that very often where I get submissions that are for different genres that I don't really talk about and it doesn't align with my playlist and then it just kind of feels like jumbled up. You don't want to do that because most of the time those curators won't answer you and then you could get sad and yeah, just make sure you do your research of who the curator is and what they like to talk about and highlight and stuff like that. And if you're thinking like, well, how do I even find these curators? I would say majority of the time, if you like specific artists in a genre, go to that artist on Spotify and then scroll down to the playlist that they're in and you can scroll through all the playlists that they have. Some of the people on there will most likely be playlist curators or maybe they're not, but I would say about half the time they are and you can just go through and explore all of their playlists as well and be like, hey, I like this, maybe I can submit to them and then just kind of go from there. <laughs> or you can even check out TikTok too if you type in playlist curator. I know I'll show up. There's a few other gals that also show up when you type in playlist curator, but yeah, TikTok's a great tool, so utilize that too. And after you find these curators, you're going to want to find their email. Most of them will have them in like a little link in their bio type deal, or it'll be on their social media page itself. But if you can't find that, then you can try DMing. I would say I get about 90% of the submissions through DM. It will most likely go to their request, but some people check them and you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that, but I highly suggest emailing them over DMs because it seems more personable, more like you're interested in them, all that fun jazz. So once you're all set to email or DM them, then I would highly recommend researching the playlist curator that you're submitting your music to. It'll show a lot of appreciation for them as well as just figuring out if your music aligns with them instead of not knowing anything at all. I think this step is really important because there's like I was saying previously, there's so many submissions that I get where people don't know who I am. It feels very robotic and disconnected and I just I wish there was more of a personal connection to the music submitter to me. I don't know, it could just be my personal opinion, but I feel like there's a huge disconnect sometimes between the submitter and the curator. So I highly recommend researching the curator. If they're on, they're most likely on social media. So TikTok, Instagram, Twitter sometimes, 
and just like their Spotify playlist itself, just do your research. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but in the long run, it could really help you out. And then we're on to the next step of where you write out the email. This is really scary, especially if you've never done it before, so I'm gonna give you guys some good examples as well as some bad examples. It's nothing against these people who have submitted these messages to me, it's just a lot of disconnect. I don't think that they really knew who I was or what music I talked about. So I'm gonna share some of the bad examples first. Hey there, could I send you a song that isn't released yet for playlist consideration? I don't know, just it's very dry, no intro. Here's one. <laughs> Hi, we love your TikToks. We were wondering if you could feature us in one of them. No problem, if not, here's a link to our single. So this just feels like the band wants some type of coverage, they have no connect to me at all, they just again see my big numbers, and I feel like if you're an artist you shouldn't look at that for other people, like, I don't know, I guess numbers like that don't really mean much to me? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels like they want some recognition, they don't want to have anything to do with me, they just want to see their name get out there and blown up, which is super cool for artists and stuff like that, but if you're just submitting that to tons of curators and it's super disconnected, makes me kind of feel like a robot, like, ah oh, yes, I need to make a TikTok about every single band submission that I get. It just, I don't know. So here's one that's like kind of half and half, I guess. Hey, I just released a new song. It's about how growing up seems kind of scary at first, but that it will all be okay and you should just have fun. I think it will be great in your playlist. Would you like to check it out and see if you like it? So this one is okay. Again, they have no connection to me whatsoever. They just want someone to listen to their music. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just like, I want people to know how to properly submit to curators because I'm not a robot. I'm a real human. I, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I guess the moral of the story is all the submissions that I get that seem negative to me that I will most likely skip over is they just say, hey, this is what our song is. Can you add it to our playlist? Here's a song. Again, I hate, I've said this word so many times, but it's just disconnected, makes me feel like a robot, no connection there, they don't want to get to know me or the person they're submitting their music to, they just want to get their music out there, which I can see both sides for sure, how you want to get your music out there and just submit to so many different people, which it could work for some people, but for me personally, I, I just don't like feeling robotic. I guess essentially what made me really want to make this video is I got one of the kindest emails I've ever gotten, hands down, and I was like, this is how you should properly submit to playlist curators. I'm gonna read you what this band sent, they are okay with me sharing everything. It's a little long, but I think it's good. But, Hi Kelsey, my name is Matt. I play in a band called Hype Mom. I recently discovered your Instagram and absolutely love it. Your approach is so accessible and inviting and makes me want to listen to all these bands even when I'm already listening to them. You've given me so many great new suggestions and reminded me of bands and records I wish I could hear again for the first time with your guidance. First off, they researched me, they know what I do, and they're very appreciative. I've never, probably like once or twice, had a message like this where I was just like, this is so kind and I've never felt so so important, I guess? Literally have never had something like this. That's why I was like, a good thing. So research, you know what the curator's doing, kind and genuine. <laughs> If it's not already clear, we have a pretty similar taste in tunes. Many of the bands you call out are big influences for us. We just put out a new single and I wanted to send it your way. We're not looking for a shout out or anything, just trying to get our music in front of people who we think might like it. We do a thrashy post-punk meets Midwest emo, blah blah blah, they describe their sound. I'm sure you get these all the time, so I apologize for the extra inbox clutter. If you dig it, send us a thumbs up emoji, and then just like a kind regards ending message. So I think with this specifically is they started out with the appreciation for the curator and is very sweet, personable, grabs the person's attention, and you're like, okay, I kind of want to read more. So then in the second paragraph, they kind of explain who they are, what their sound is, very descriptive and not just like, we're indie, meet me. <laughs> how it's similar to my music taste, again, with the whole research aspect. And then they're also saying how they're not looking for clout, they're not looking for a playlist ad, nothing. They just want to get their music in front of people who might like it, which I think is so important because that should be your main goal as a musician, is to have people who want to hear it, not just get it out in the world to get you a bigger number because you could have big numbers but you could not be good. I don't know how to put it in a nice way. I'm so sorry but so I would say the main few things to take away from that is to don't be pushy with the curator. Don't ask directly to be added to a playlist and a specific playlist because then it's just like again with a robotic like meet meet put me on your playlist. It's just kind of I don't know. <laughs> if you show appreciation for me I will show appreciation for you and I ended up putting that band on a few of my playlists and it's been helping them out a lot and I just thought it was super kind and 
I never get that and it made me feel special instead of like I was just some NPC on the internet because I am a real person. <laughs> I guess the next step is if you sent out a message and you're like, hey, they're not responding, what do I do, blah, blah, blah. You can go ahead and follow up with an email. I don't think following up is a bad thing. I'd give it like a week or two because sometimes they could be busy, something could be going on. And the follow up email can just be short, sweet, kind of just like, hey, it's me again. Just wanted to see if you had the time to listen to my single or let me know what you thought, blah, blah, blah. Just like that kind of thing. Make it super sweet, super short, nothing too fancy. And then if they still don't respond and it's been like, a month at this point, then you're just gonna have to kind of go find other curators. I know it sucks, I know it's hard, but sometimes we get flooded with these messages. Like sometimes I get like 15 a day and I just like want to throw my phone out the window. And that's why I think email is better because DMs on Instagram are just too much sometimes, you know? So I'm gonna show what you should put into your email to a independent playlist curator because I think it's really important. I'll put it here or here. I feel like I kind of already said this, but I'll do it again. We can do bullet points. So you should say something super nice and personable, kind of relating to the curator itself, what you appreciate about them, all the fun jazz. And then you should explain your sound. Pretty in-depth, but not really. Just kind of like, hey, we sound like this. You can say some bands that you're comparable to. And then I think a nice little touch would be adding how your music aligns with the playlist curator you're submitting your music to. Because again, just kind of gives that connection between you and the curator and is very nice. And then at the end, you can just say, not looking for anything specific, just want to get my music out there with people who align with it and then just like link your single, make it look really pretty, and then just leave with a nice little outro, say thanks, I really appreciate what you do, your stuff is amazing, blah blah blah. So I guess the moral of the story is to be nice to independent playlist curators because we are real people and not just NPCs who batch make these playlists, they're super personable. The playlists that I make are really personal to me because music is just a really personal thing to me and just throwing bands on there that I get DMs and emails from just doesn't feel right if I don't align with it. I hate using that word, it sounds so meh, I don't know. You know what I mean, I think it's really important to have a connection with the curator, be nice, everyone is a real human. Again, I'm not just some NPC with a lot of followers. Ah. Okay, I hope you guys learned something from this. If you're a band who's looking for someone to help you with your streams or help you get your band out there, definitely check out playlist curators. A lot of people don't know that we exist. We're independent playlist curators. We don't work with Spotify. We just kind of do our own thing, work for ourselves. And yeah, it's really fun. You can submit to any of them. I'll share with you three of my mutuals who are also playlist curators as well. So the first one I have is Marge. She is super sweet. Marge's music taste is just it's so good. She talks about so many different genres. She's kind of just all over the board. I really, I love Marge. Her music taste, again, is beautiful. She does like slow core, really airy, ambient, just like a ton of random stuff, but her music taste is very great. It's very in-depth. Highly recommend her for stuff like that. And then the next one I have is my friend Matthew. He is definitely more towards like a lot of cutesy indie stuff, Jack Johnson vibes acoustic, a lot of guitar. He's kind of like in that realm of stuff, but he's a playlist curator as well. And then someone that I don't know, but I've done like research on TikTok and stuff and I found is Casey. She is also a playlist curator. She does, it looks like from what I can see, does like a lot of indie kind of like snail mail, Lucy Dacus type of feel, just kind of stuff like that. But she has a ton of playlists on Spotify and tons of different genres and stuff. So if you want to check her out too, I know she takes submissions as well. So that could be a good option. And yeah, there's so many of us out on the internet, you just have to take some time to search on Spotify, TikTok, Instagram sometimes too, but, and yeah, don't forget to check out some merch if you want some before the pre-order ends. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.